The tropical rainforest is home to a wide range of trees. Like abstract objects of art, they reach majestically for the sky. There is a lot of life in the rainforest canopy, big and noisy life. Although the gibbon is not a monkey, it certainly looks like one. It is a primate member of the ape family, cousin of gorilla, chimpanzee, orangutan, and human. But this is a real monkey, a macaque. One of the five species of macaques in Thailand. Apart from humans, the macaques are the most widespread primate genus in the world. A stump-tailed macaque, known for its pink or red face and yellowish babies. For a curious baby stump-tailed macaque, grass is always greener on the other side of the hill. The Assamese macaque, a highly social species, spends a lot of time on personal hygiene, helping each other find lice and insects and other goodies. The dusky langur, newborns with their bright yellow-orange fur, which will change to grey when they are three months old. The mangrove swamp on the tropical coastline is home to another of Thailand's macaques, the long-tailed macaque. It is called the crab-eating macaque because it is sometimes found foraging along beaches for crabs. Lately, it has also become a cyanthrop, living off human resources. many ways of crossing a river. Some macaques just jump right into it. Some need to measure the temperature before taking the big leap. While this female, a mother, seems to wait like the captain of a ship. The macaques feed on fruit, grass, roots, or bark. Because of their anatomical closeness to humans, the rhesus macaque has been the prime choice for conducting research on human and animal-related products. This would include the development of the smallpox, polio, and rabies vaccines, and the creation of drugs to manage HIV. The adults are good at jumping, but for this youngster, it comes naturally too. Just like for human gymnasts, the asymmetric bar takes practice. Both female and male macaques are promiscuous, mating multiple times with multiple partners.
the Assamese macaque usually prefers living at high altitudes, normally about 500 meters. Fruit eaters, like most macaques, they live in multi-male, multi-female groups of 10 to 50 individuals. Their behavior consists of foraging and social interaction, along with grooming and sleeping. However, as a female will mate with an average of four males a season, she often risks the wrath of the alpha male. Peace is soon restored, and life goes on as though nothing has happened. Until next time. When seen in water, macaques are usually escaping from danger, regulating their body temperature, playing, or searching for food like algae, occasionally small insects, or fish. After five long days of courtship, the female hornbill finally permits the male to mate with her. She inspects the nest the male has selected for her. It seems to be acceptable, but she's already starting to redecorate. From now on, the male becomes fully responsible for feeding, maintaining and protecting his mate and coming chicks. He feeds her by regurgitating food items one at a time. Another duty. Clay and mud is collected. The female uses the clay to seal the nest entrance, preventing predators from attacking and eating the eggs or chicks in the future. The gender roles of the pheasant-tailed jacanas are reversed, with females defending three or more males. The eggs are left with the males for incubation and parental care. The female defends the nesting territory. The 
female great hornbill has now spent 35 days incubating her two eggs. The male is constantly searching for more food for his partner and coming chicks. This is father care. Two small hornbill chicks see the light of day, a miracle in the tropical forest. As the chicks grow, their dietary requirements change and they need more protein than figs can provide. The female refuses what the male has brought. He must let the figs fall to the ground and regurgitate something more appropriate for a growing bird, like an insect. three months for the chicks to mature. The proud father supervises the growing life at the nest with tender care. Another miracle at Bang Porapet. Two chicks have already left their eggs. The third is still fighting to escape the shell. shell is removed so that predators are not attracted to the nest by smell. Amazingly, the young are able to run, swim and dive as soon as they have hatched. 